Hello, Stephen with Singular, and today I'm going to go over a sort of a common mistake that I see people make when they first start out in Singular. It has to do with subcompositions and how to set up your uh, the relationship between the composition and Singular Studio. So I am going to minimize OBS. Oh, and by the way, people ask me why are you always showing OBS in some of your videos like this. I do this to really show off the in, uh, docked UI, Singular Studio UI, right in here, which I cover in a um, one of the videos on this channel so make sure to check that one out okay let's minimize this OBS come back over to the dashboard I'm gonna start with a brand new composition and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna call this a lower third two so I did a previous example with a lower third and a list but now I'm just gonna start and explain a common mistake and a user had this problem and um, it dawned on me that it's not super intuitive sort of the relationship, like I said, between Studio and Singular Studio, the control application and the uh, composer. So again, best practices from me that I like to do is right off the bat in a new composition at the uh, root level of the composition tray, I always call this overlays. Again, you don't have to. Oh, there I go again with my typos. Overlays. I'm going to make one sub composition and I'm going to call it lower Third. Now the reason I'm doing this is because the reason I keep putting everything in a subcomposition, it's not that you have to put everything in a subcomposition. It's that if you don't, Singular Studio will not um, understand. It will not read those graphics. It only Singular Studio only reads um, subcompositions. And furthermore, Singular Studio only reads. I'm going to go right arrow on the keyboard again. I don't usually name this main. Singular Studio only reads control nodes that you create at one level down in the subcomposition. So for example, if you were to make another subcomposition and go down here and start putting control nodes, Singular Studio will not read those. It only reads one level down. So I'm going to go back up the tree with a left arrow and I'll go ahead and delete this one. So let me show you that in practice what that all means. So back to the top, we've got one lower third. Actually, let's just make a quick lower third. Bounding box, rectangle, right? And then on the parent, I'm going to drop it here. You've probably see me doing this before if you watch any of my other videos. 10, and then we'll go back over, well, negative 10. So that represents our lower third. It's basic animation. It's just a fade, and that happens by default, as you know, right? The fade, it's, it's an in, and then the reverse is the out. So let's go jump right back over to the dashboard, and let's right-click on the composition, and let's go to New Control App. Okay, we're going to select Studio and we will hit create and here it is open it okay so now if you notice when i hit the blue plus button i get a lower third okay and that's the one we made just that box again we didn't put any text in there or anything so let's go back over to the composition if i were to go to the root level and just drop some rectangles and things just an image go back over to the app hit refresh right Singular Studio has no idea what those things are. They do not show up in this um, in the overlay list because it, it's only going to recognize subcompositions. Okay, a couple other things. As long as I'm here, again, this back and forth between Composer and Studio. So back over to the composition. I'm going to get rid of the image widget and the rectangle widget. I'm going to go into the lower third. I've got that rectangle, and let's bring it out and in. This is a common sort of gotcha. There it goes. Actually, I take that back. It wasn't a gotcha. There's some times when you can get the timeline into a state where it won't. It's it's like in an out state, and you don't see anything, and it requires maybe a quick refresh of the browser page. The browser page again, nothing's broken. It's just sort of an artifact of the of the browser. So let's call this base. Let's drop a piece of text in here. I'll keep this real simple. I'm going to go to transformations. I'm going to turn off the lock. R for reset to 100 or type in 100 either way. And let's just put some black text on top of that white bar. We'll justify it centered. Okay. And then I'm going to add a control node here and we'll just leave it as text. Okay. Boom. It shows up back over to studio, right? Cause we added the text. I hit refresh, right? Studio is fine with that change. In fact, when I go to this one, see the text shows up. I type in Steven, I see it in preview, I take it to program, everything's good. But there's a couple of little nuances here. For example, if I go back over to the composition and at the root level, let's just say for example I had lower third, let's rename this lower third one. Okay? 
and now I'm gonna go right back over to the application. I'm gonna hit refresh. You're gonna get this nasty dialog box, right? What the heck is this? Well, it's because when you um, when you rename that subcomposition at the root level of your of, of the um, main composition, Studio doesn't understand that. It thinks it should be called lower third. It's no longer called lower third. It's called lower third one. So when I hit OK, it's gonna disappear. That's um, just sort of a I don't even want to call it limitation. It is what it is in Studio. So if you rename something, um, Singular Studio is not going to resolve that name change. So unfortunately, you're going to lose um, a list of graphics. So just be mindful of that. Um, another thing I like to do, as long as I'm here to round off this quick demo, is if I go back, let's say I'm, I've got this and I like my lower third, it's working for me. Um, I really highly recommend that when you go back and forth between Studio and the composition, here I am back in the um, composer, use revisions, really helpful. And give them, you know, either a, a date stamp or probably more, um, a, a more specific name. Like just call this um, uh, simple um, uh, L3, short for lower third, maybe V1 or something that makes sense. And the reason I say that is, you know, if you start editing things and let's say you add a new sub composition and you name it, I don't know, full screen, and away you go, and you start making some stuff, and then you mess something up. You know, you go back over to um, the control app, studio, refresh, now you're gonna see full screen will show up, albeit there's nothing in there, so nothing's gonna happen. And you go, you know what, I really messed up. You know, I just, I, I need to go back to where I was. So all you have to do is go back to this guy, the, com the composer, and restore, right, and away goes the full screen, okay? back over to the app and refresh. So yes, a little back and forth, and then it, it says I can't find full screen, right? That's that big dialog box. That's fine, it's no longer there, but the lower third is still there because that did not get renamed. So just a small little detail. I just wanted to go over that, round this up and or round this off and say thanks. And I've got some more um, demos coming up, which I'm gonna dive into. Oh, what do I got today? Uh, maybe some more table widgets or something. Um, from some other users that were asking some very specific questions. So thanks for watching, more soon.